is as secret as was the location of yesterday's wedding, withheld from even the guests until the last minute. This was the wedding scene at the Malibu, California home of producer Kurt Unger. Guests reportedly had to call a secret number a half an hour before the wedding to find out where to show up. At the gate, guests had to show a driver's license or passport in order to get in. Dueling helicopters vied for the best picture they could get, which wasn't much, but it's all we've got of a very secret wedding. The public was fascinated by Madonna's turbulent marriage to Sean Penn, and the attention wasn't always welcome. Though Penn had married one of the world's biggest celebrities, he wasn't above lashing out at the press or punching out photographers who got too close. I asked Madonna about Sean Penn and the hazards of fame in 1987. There was a columnist who wrote what in effect was a public lecture mm -hmm. to your husband. Right. And people like him mm -hmm. who think they can play the star game right. by their rules. Right. The case she made, you remember what, you know what I'm talking about? The case she made was that if you want to be a star, you owe it to your fans. Mm -hmm. To you owe it to the paparazzi, whatever, to the people who make stars happen and so forth. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to play by that rule, then go sell insurance or something. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? There are certain things you have to accept in this business that, you know, you become a larger-than-life figure and people want to know about you and you have to expect a certain amount of, of, a, of an invasion, people walking up to you in the streets, um, doing interviews, people wanting to know you, touch you, that uh, you just have to expect a certain amount of it, but then, you know, you have to draw the line. Where do you draw the line? Um, I draw the line when I get to my house. <laughs> when I go up my driveway, that's where the line is, you know. Wherever I live, you know, that, that should be sacred. And my own private life and, you know, my romantic life, that's where I draw the line. Do your fans know that? What? Do they understand that there's a line at all? Mm, I don't think that it occurs them to them to understand. I mean, if you really, really like someone or idolize someone or you you do anything to find out about them and i mean it, it depends certain people go to a lot of extremes i know people hang out at the bottom of our driveway a lot and constantly ring our doorbell and they want to see us they think that we're going to invite them up for a cup of tea or something you know is it ever frightening Fright? yeah sometimes when they're relentless and they never leave you alone i have no intention of of crossing the line you don't want to cross about your romantic life. But it is interesting that, that Sean Penn found Madonna, the world's most public mm -hmm. woman, and fell in love with her. And well, opposites attract. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I specific, specifically don't want to discuss Sean and how he handles himself. He, he's a grown man, and he makes his own decisions about that. Um, when he wants to talk to the public about it, he can do that, but I don't want to. <laughs>